Throwing something in the bin at the end of the day really isn't a problem. If you are over precious about your art materials and if you worry about making it perfect every time um, and about never making mistakes, I do believe you're never going to really move on and learn. You need to get stuck in, you need to practice, you need to practice your drawing, your mark making and using different materials together. This way you might stumble across a new technique, you might stumble across some materials that work well together that you never imagined would do. Here I've got some canvas paper, I like it because it's got that nice tooth to it and I'm using the extra large Derwent blocks. I'm also using on top of those the Liquitex um, paint marker and the um, watercolour sheets with the metallic set that have got the nice golds and shiny colours. So one thing I learned from this at the end of the day was that those metallic colours actually cover up, cover up quite nicely, quite opaquely on top of the ink tents. So they'll be very good for adding a touch of gild to things um, and a little bit of shine for Christmas. It's an absolute mess at the end of the day and it really does not matter. I have thrown more things in the bin than I've actually framed and sold obviously and that's the way that you learn. I can't stress this enough. Please do just have fun, make a mess. Try this uh, the next time that you're getting your art materials out. Pick two or three things that you've never used together before and just set off. Don't do a drawing, just draw as you go along. Make a mess, correct things, go on top of things. I let things dry in between then I went on top of them again. Layer things up, cover things up if they go wrong. It doesn't really matter. Just learn from it and you'll learn what colours you like together. You'll learn some mark making techniques that you can put into your other work later on. Lots of people want to know how they find their own art style, how they develop their art style. And this is one way to do it. Just play and have fun. Because when you're doing this, you're relaxing, your mind's switched off. You're not thinking about all the other things that you're going to be worrying about at the moment. You might be worrying about Christmas, you might other politics of that even with your families and things. You might be worrying about um, affording presents and all the rest of it. There's all sorts of things on your mind at the moment. And if you just do something like this, just have fun, just relax and chuck some colors at the canvas and really, really enjoy it and just have a play. And then you'll find sometimes, sometimes you'll find that they're absolutely fantastic, these kind of things. And there's something in there that's really special and that you like and you might want to keep it. But if it goes in the bin, it doesn't matter because you've learnt from it. And if you're too, too precious about your art materials, you're never going to get there. OK, so I hope that makes sense. I'll be back again soon with another tutorial or demonstration. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you one of those people that are too precious and too tight in your work um, and you like things to be perfect every time? Or do you find that this is a good exercise for you to do to loosen up and enjoy yourself? OK, let me know what you think and I'll see you again soon. Enjoy your painting and drawing and have a great weekend.